In today's video, we'll explore the ins and the outs of moving house with equity release. So if you're considering a lifetime mortgage or a home reversion plan, this video is for you. Let's quickly recap what equity release is all about. Equity release plans are a lifeline for senior homeowners aged 55 or over who want to unlock the value of their homes without having to make monthly repayments. These plans provide the opportunity to borrow significant amounts of money, which can be especially beneficial when traditional lending options become limited in later life. So why do people opt for equity release in the first place? Well, the main draw lies in the freedom to access a substantial sum of money without the burden of monthly repayments. Whether it's for home improvements, private medical care, dream holidays, or even early inheritance for your loved ones, the choice is entirely up to the homeowner. The flexibility to use the funds as desired is undoubtedly an attractive feature. As enticing as equity release may sound, it's crucial to be aware of the potential pitfalls. The biggest trap is not fully understanding the terms and long-term implications of the plan. The debt can grow over time due to accrued interest, and without proper comprehension, you might find yourself facing unexpected costs down the road. To avoid ending up in an equity release horror story, make sure you're fully informed about the true long-term costs before taking the plunge. So, do you still own your house if you have equity release? The answer depends on the type of plan you choose. With a lifetime mortgage, you retain full ownership of your home, while the lender has the right to sell the property to recover the debt when you move out or when you pass away. On the other hand, with a home reversion plan, you do sell a percentage of your property to the lender. Now let's tackle the big question head on. Can you move house if you have equity release? The answer is both yes and no. It primarily depends on a few factors. Firstly, if your lender is a member of the Equity Release Council, the ERC, you're likely to have more flexibility to move properties and transfer the equity release plan. In most cases, lenders will allow you to port your plan to the new property as long as it's suitable, meaning it's of equal or greater value and it's easily marketable. But what if you want to downsize? Can you do that with equity release? The answer is yes, but with a few considerations. Downsizing to a less valuable property is possible and you can take your equity release plan with you. However, you may be required to pay off a portion of the loan early. Some plans include a downsizing clause, which waives any fee for repaying a portion of the loan before its natural end. If downsizing is in your future plans, be sure to discuss it with your equity release advisor from the beginning. If you're eligible to move or downsize, how do you transfer your equity release plan to another property? The process is similar to getting an equity release for the first time. You'll work with an equity release advisor and a new property will undergo evaluation and appraisal. It's important to note that you may need to pay upfront fees for their services, which is different from the initial mortgage process. Keep in mind that there are certain scenarios where transferring your equity release plan to a new property might not be possible. Factors like non-standard construction, age restrictions, short remaining leases, flood risks, and exclusive renovations required in the new property can deem it unsuitable for an equity release transfer. In such cases, you'll need to pay off the plan before moving, which can be costly due to potential early repayment charges. And what happens if you choose not to transfer your equity release plan to a new property? Well, if you don't transfer, you'll be obliged to pay off the plan early and cover any applicable charges. Lifetime mortgages must be repaid when you no longer habitually live in a property where the plan was initially taken out. It's crucial to remember that securing a loan against your home through equity release should always be carefully considered. While it offers financial freedom and flexibility, it also reduces the value of your estate and may impact your entitlement to means-tested benefits. If you're interested in seeing if you could release equity, simply click the link in the description below and fill out the short form. It contains a few questions like your property's value and the date of birth, and it will give you access to quotes tailored to your circumstance. It's totally free to fill out, and of course it won't affect your credit score. So click the link in the description below and fill out the short form to try it out. 